Okay, so for this next problem, we are going to follow the same steps. So step one is make sure that your base with its variable exponents isolated, check, nothing in front or behind. And then next step, we are going to look at the base. So we see it's base eight, right? So we're going to apply log of that base to both sides. So we are going to write log base eight on the left, log base eight on the right, cross that off. So we'll have two X is equal to log base eight of 20. Now before dividing by two, I like to put this in my calculator. So I'm gonna do log of 20 divided by log eight, change of base, right? So if you have to do log of 20 divided by log eight, in your calculator, log 20 divided by log 8. So we get okay, so I got about 1.44 and then after that we're going to divide by 2 because we're solving for x so we have x is approximately 0 0.72 okay so you're going to try number three same type of problem okay next example so step one, you want to isolate two raised to the point one x. So first step, pretend that this pretend that this green blob, right? Pretend that it says x. So pretend that this problem says x minus five equals seven, right? The first thing you would do is add the five to both sides. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna come down here. So I'm going to add this five to both sides because step one you want to isolate so it's going to cancel so now we come down here so we have two raised to the point one x is equal to 12. then when you're looking at this you say to yourself um okay so you've isolated then you say to yourself, okay, can I make the bottoms the same? No, I can't. Two to the first, two to the second is in 12, two to the third is in 12, two to the fourth is in 12. Okay, so that's why we're using this new strategy, right? And so you've isolated base two. All right, you got rid of that five. And now you need to look at the side that the variable is on. So we're looking at the left-hand side. It's not always the left-hand side, by the way. Anyways, we look at the left-hand side. And then we need to look at that base and we say, oh, okay, the base is two. So we need to apply log base two to both sides. When we do that, log base two of two cancels. So we're left with negative one, negative 0.1x. Why did I write negative? Oh, I thought that was a negative symbol. Just kidding. We, I thought that that dot was a, the decimal was a negative. Okay, so we have what's left on, after the log base two of two cancels, we have point one x is equal to log base two of 12. Log base two of 12, I'm gonna evaluate, see what that number is. You can use change of base formula. So log of 12 divided by log of two. So we'll get log 12 divided by log two. Okay, it's about, oops. Oh no, ah. Okay, so it's about 3.58. 
So we have 0.1x. Now if we divide both sides by 0.1, we would get x is equal to or approximately 35.8. That's our answer. Okay, so you're going to try number four. So the last one we're going to do together is this last example. So step one, we are trying to isolate 6 raised to the negative 4x. Just like I showed you before, pretend that it's 1 third x plus 1 equals 6, right? You guys all know how to do that. If you were trying to isolate x, you would subtract 1, and then you'd multiply by 3 over 1 or 3. All right, so we're going to do the same thing down here. So if the first step, if we were going to subtract 1, right? Okay, well, we're going to do that for the problem we're working on. First step, we're subtracting 1 from both sides. So we would end up, come down here. We would end up with 1 third 6 raised to the negative 4x is equal to 5. So if we got that here. Now, if I'm looking at this problem when below, the next step I would do is multiply um, both sides by 3, right? And I'd get x is 15, right? I'd multiply 3, multiply by 3, and I'd get x is 15. So if we're trying to isolate, it's not x, it's we're trying to isolate 6 raised to the negative 4x. We're trying to isolate that. If it's 1 third times, we can multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll multiply both sides by 3 over 1, which is 3. I'm trying to like this because if it's a 2 thirds or something, it would be different. Um, so you're not distributing this 3, 3 over 1 to the 1 third and the 6, right? This just makes the 1 third cancel. So now you're left with 6 raised to the negative 4x is equal to... 15. So that's all step one. Step one was isolate. We isolated that base, 6 raised to the negative 4x. We got rid of the 1 and we got rid of the third in front. All right, it's 1 third times plus 1. So you subtract and then the opposite of multiplication is division or you can multiply by reciprocal. Okay, so now we're finished. That's step one. Then you can't make bases the same, so you're going to look at the side that the variable is on, which is on the left-hand side. You look at that base, we're going to apply log of that base, log base 6, to both sides. So log base 6 of 6 cancels, so we're left with negative 4x is equal to log base 6 of 15 change a base. So we'll evaluate this using our calculator, log 15 divided by log 6. So log 15 divided by log of 6. So we have negative 4x is about 1.51. And then we're going to divide both sides by negative 4. So if I divide both sides by negative 4, we'll get x is approximately negative 0.378. Okay, so try the other five problems, right? And make sure you write down all the examples when you submit. When you submit this, you need to show all examples and all five worked out. And we're on Zoom at 11 if you need help.